What is up YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench and today we're going to look at the Work Pro 8-piece ratcheting wrench set. Hang on to your nipples. So if you watch The Maintenance Man, aka Mr. Neil, you'll know that he is a big proponent of these Work Pro tools. I have actually watched this set of wrenches on Amazon for a year, and I was never quite sure whether to pull the trigger on them. And somehow me and Neil started talking about this, and he said, well, hold on, let me put you in contact with the people at Work Pro. So a few weeks later, I'm talking to a lady that runs their Instagram account, awesome lady by the way i told her about this wrench set i had been looking at for a long time and she said well let me send you one out for review so the set comes up nice and rolled up like that which is a nice feature because this is actually a really nice uh, wrench roll velcro keeps it nice and shut and organized and then there's also a velcro to keep them in the actual pouch now i was always skeptical of these because they're not a, a chrome ratchet you know, they're, they're this weird looking color. They got this gold on the end. They look different. And without Neil there to tell me that, hey, he's had some good luck with some of their other tools, I probably would never have them in my hands because of the fact that they are just so different looking. And I'll tell you right now, for $45 for an eight piece set of the flex head ratchet wrenches, they don't have a bad sounding mechanism, fairly smooth. And they do say that they are standard chrome vanadium. The set comes with 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It does skip 16, which is your typical 5 eighths, and then goes to 17. So a, a fairly decent little set for $45. So I've had these tools for about four months. I've used them fairly extensively, and I can say that the ratcheting mechanism really did come in handy, especially with my table saw rebuild and I'm still working on getting my lawnmower fixed up. Out of all these wrenches, we're gonna look at the one I, I truly use the most and got beat up the most, and that's this 13 millimeter. This saw most of its work on the table saw build. I did not have a problem with the former function of this tool at all. It works just fine, flexes, but this, this color, this coating that I assumed would be like some kind of powder coating or maybe like a hardcore enamel, seems to be just paint. And it scratches away very easily. We can look at the open end. And that's really the biggest downfall of these tools, is that they decided to paint them rather than chrome them. What the hell were you thinking? This gold looks cool, but after you use it, it just kind of rubs away. So really just it kind of depends on the type of guy you are. You know, are you going to sacrifice paying, you know, $70 for a nice set of chrome ones? Or are you going to pay $45 for these ones that will still work just fine? But they're going to look like hell after a few months. Now, I'll be honest, the scratches and stuff on this tool, it did kind of disappoint me. It made me sad because I really wanted to give these people like a stellar review because Neil has talked highly of their products. I'm sure their other products might have fared a little better. I haven't seen any of their other wrenches or tools that had any kind of painting like this. So when I discovered this issue with, you know, the paint just scratching right off, I contacted WorkPro via their Instagram and I sent them some pictures and I said, hey, did y'all know that this is going on. They said that this was the first time they had heard of this happening. And they said that they sent the comments and the photos I sent on to the proper department to see if they can rectify this issue with it. I know that this wasn't just a one-time issue because Jared Milky Way has the same set of work pro ratcheting wrenches. I talked to him, he experienced the same issue. So the fact that they were willing to take ownership and say, hey, look, we see the issue i can see in the pictures yes you definitely have scratched and marred these all up we weren't aware of the issue in the past but we will look into into rectifying it even if they don't change this set because it is a 45 dollars set you know maybe they'll offer a, a 60 dollars set that's a full chrome instead of this paint 
but the willingness to listen, take criticism, and say, hey, we're going to do our best to change it and make a better product, that's what really makes me like this brand. So although I can't say that this was a stellar win for WorkPro with this set of flexhead ratcheting wrenches, I do know that some of their other tools are a little better quality than this right here. I had a coworker at the plant, and I remember he bought a set of WorkPro Allen keys, and it never really clicked to me until I saw Neil talking about WorkPro. So I sent him a couple of text messages, and I said, hey, how's that Allen key set working for you? Because he's had it for at least a year now. He says he loves it, no issues with it. So because they failed on this particular set of tools, that doesn't mean that their other tools are gonna be the same way. So even though I can't go out and say, hey, run out today and get your $45 set of flex head ratcheting wrenches, they're the best thing ever, I can tell you, if you're looking for something on a budget that'll get the job done, they will definitely do that. Will they look the prettiest while doing it? No, I'm sorry, they won't. But that's just kind of something you sacrifice sometimes when you try to get a budget tool. If you go over to the Maintenance Man's channel, you can see some other Work Pro tools that are better made than this particular set right here. Like I said, I have the old coworker completely happy with his Allen wrench set. So I don't want this to discourage you from looking at their tools, but I can't say I definitely recommend this set. You've seen the pros, you've seen the cons, the decision's up to you. Does the price make it a good value, even though the fit and finish might not be the best? So until next time, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down there, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!